Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central. Just wanted to show you guys the Logitech Bluetooth keyboard for Android 3.0. What we've got is a fairly thin Bluetooth keyboard. It does get a little bit fat on the end because we've got four AAA batteries that power it. You can see the battery cover right here and right there is the connect button. That's how we pair it to our tablet. Flipping right back over to the keyboard side of things, you'll notice that we've got a standard QWERTY layout. We've also got a function button and some function keys. We've got a lock unlock that lets us lock the screen, turn the screen off, and get back to the lock screen. We've also got some music controls, a delete button, search, and menu functions. When we're not using the function button, they double as search and home. We also have a Windows key and a command key if you're pairing this with something that isn't running Android. That being said, I've already got the keyboard turned on and paired up, so let's get right into a demonstration. Let's hop into Catch Notes, I'll get my tablet set up, and we'll make a new note. So I'm typing right now, message, hey, Android, central. I've actually got the keyboard on my lap right now, uh, which is why it's off screen, and also why I have a little bit more typos than I normally do, but as you can see, I am definitely writing this from the Logitech Bluetooth keyboard for Android 3.0. Pretty sweet. Hey, Smiley face. So you'll notice that the message got typed up, no problem. A little interesting thing is when you use the function with the lock key, you can turn the screen off and on. So we're turning the screen on and off. It doesn't actually unlock the screen. You still need to use your finger to swipe for that. But you'll see no issue. The screen goes off and you can turn it on as though you press the power key using the function lock command. As far as music controls go, you'll see that I just pause, uh, unpaused and paused again music. And you'll see now that the tracks are changing and the music is now playing. I'm doing this all from the keyboard using the function keys that I demonstrated earlier. The volume up and down also work very well, but unfortunately the mute command doesn't do anything, which is why the music stays full volume right now. Going back into catch notes, if I hit the home button, nothing actually happens. Hitting the back button functions like a back button, and if I press function home, which is supposed to work as the search key, also nothing happens. If I press function back, which is supposed to act as the menu button, I also get a back function. So going home and opening up Google Plus, demoing it in another app, the home button actually works like the menu button, pulls up the settings menu, which is a little confusing. The back button actually takes me home. And if I do function back, which is supposed to act as the menu button, it also takes me home. So that's either functioning as a back button or as a home button, but not as what it's labeled. When I press the search button by itself, I get the same results as if I was trying to open the settings menu. This was a short video preview of the Logitech Bluetooth keyboard for Android 3.0.